I got a couple inches of rain last night. Groups on the hillside. Came down here to put these creek fences up. This is actually a boundary fence. I don't have that over there. I got that steep hillside and crops. <laughs> Sheesh. But take a look at that water not real clear is it it's pretty brown now if I were to guess what that is in the water what do you think it is I'd say it's dirt topsoil correct me if I'm wrong Look at these pastures out here. I highly doubt it's runoff from our fields with all the biomass we have out here to cut, collect all the rain. So if I were to guess, I'd say it's coming from upstream from some pastures that are look like a golf course and crop fields that don't have any cover crops in them, bare ground. I could be wrong, but that's what I'd say it is. And some of that's probably from the banks as well, the loose soil that's on the banks, which I will admit cattle in the creek don't help that. But as I've said before, this farm is in the works of getting stream fencing put in in the near future so they shouldn't be in the creeks much longer if we can get all the paperwork worked out and get the fencing up and water pipe laid down and troughs put in i don't care for them to be in the creeks anyways when it's hot they just stand in it and poop in it And they do tear up the banks some. But on this section of the farm, you know, it's our only water source. There's no hydrant, no well, nothing. Just the creek. And it goes from right here on back Shh. I'd have to look what it is on Google Earth it's probably half mile if not a mile back up stream over over a hundred acres I think that is in pasture and we use the creek for water past several years it's better than nothing but like I say I'd rather keep the cattle out of it and use water troughs <clears throat> but you know if that water was just water wouldn't it be clear like it is you know like it was yesterday clear water that water right there don't look clear looks like dirt flowing on down the river or the creek and then to the river and then to the ocean
That's why you got to keep your ground covered year-round with something green growing. I will admit that steep hillside, at least they got something green out there growing. But still, that's pasture ground, not crop ground. And it's pasture ground. You can tell it's pasture ground because it's got fence all around it from the years before. The reason it's in crops is because whoever had cattle in there before probably didn't move them and made it look like a golf course or feedlot or who knows what. And that's where cattle get a bad name for themselves because of the managers that don't know how to take care of them and move them. These cattle out here are moved. They've been in here for a couple days. They're pretty loose right now. They could be tighter, but we're still getting good consumption. Manure pats look good. Got a decent variety in here. Got some holes in the pats. That means something's active in it. Dung beetles and other critters. Breaking that thing down and putting it back into the ground and building topsoil with it. Not to mention all the biomass that we're trampling on the ground. They'll break that stuff down too. And we won't be back in this field for probably two to three months. So like I say, plenty of time to recover. Even without a rain. But we're getting plenty now. It's May 18th. Getting more than enough rain. Can't complain after a year like last year. I heard someone say if you get your manure pats within a square yard of each other that your microorganisms, soil microbes, they just reproduce like crazy. And the tighter you have them, the easier it is to accomplish that. And look at all that, but we're... All that we're putting back on the ground. Oh, it's waste, waste. You could have made hay off that. Yeah, you could have, but look at all the costs in making it. And then you're taking everything off, and then you gotta put fertilizer back where it grows up in broom sedge and cedar trees. That is fertilizer. Soil microbes will eat on that, break it down, and it's gonna grow more grass. We're feeding the soil. Putting back way more than haymakers are, I'd be willing to bet. All the organic matter, all the cow poop, Bust all the clover out here that's fixing nitrogen, which this field and the one across the road was broadcasted as part of a conservation stewardship program I'm in. I did that 
not this past winter, but the winter before broadcasted it, red and white clover. And it looks good this year. Hang on, pants are soaked. Even got the boots on. Good feeling though, crops are in the ground. Letter rain. That's what happens when cows are wet in a creek. I'll admit. They do some damage to the banks, especially when you got 100, 200 head in a group. Shouldn't be much longer though. They'll be out of there. But with all this rain, you know, a lot of people haven't even started making hay yet. And that stuff's already seeded out. A lot of fields that haven't even been planted yet. Not sure what they're waiting on. They were in this field a week or so ago. Got a pretty good graze out there. Grass is growing back already. Won't be back there for several months. It does have some Johnson grass in it though. I would like to if that stuff gets up, I wouldn't mind getting back here sooner to get that stuff grazed before it goes mature. So we'll see how that, keep an eye on that. Just got a double poly wire fence as a boundary or a cross fence you could call this just to keep them off the driveway and to split the fields up I don't want them on the driveway seems like they stand on it and poop on it I don't want poop on the driveway I want it on the fields which this farm at one time, back in the day, they had, I'm pretty sure they had sheep and cattle out here because there was fence up around the house. There's a cattle guard up there near the house. There's a cattle guard up there near the barn. And there's a cattle guard down there at the entrance. So at one time, they were probably just let loose in all these fields. But I'd be willing to bet that they weren't grazing 330 plus days out of the year. because they were just let loose across the whole farm, which is why you see in that paddock, there's a bunch of cedars and thorn trees growing up on the hillside. 
so they weren't taken care of. Lack of fertilizer, lack of animal manure, but we're working on them. Field over there. One of ours. It's got corn in it. Probably six inches tall now. It's planted green in a cover crop. Been sprayed for several weeks now. But I can see the rows coming up from here. I don't know if you can pick up on it in the video. But I can see the rows coming up from here. Yep, cattle are getting fat. They're gnawing on them stems. They don't look too hungry to me. Milk and grass, that's all them calves see. Oh, you gotta feed them grain. You gotta creep feed them. Get some weight on them. And don't tell these calves that. They don't know what grain is. It's because they got enough grass out here to get fat. This paddock over here was a week or so ago they were in here. Let's take a look at it. It's already coming back. And there's more grass in here than most people got in their fields that the cattle are in. And like I say, we already grazed it. Look at all that clover coming back. Already grazed it and won't be back here for months. And there's still a decent bet left in here. Management is the key to any farming operation. Management. Well, we're going to go move another group. This group's got plenty to eat. Looks like the rain's going to stop. Just be another cloudy day, which is fine by me. Good grazing weather. Don't have to make hay. Crops are in the ground. Let her rain. And boys making hay are gonna have fun with this weather. If it keeps up, might have to wrap a bunch. Glad we don't do that no more. All the time we spent making hay, wrapping it, hauling it, feeding it. Expense, expense, expense. And you can just put up a little poly wire fence and let the cows eat it, feed themselves, and fertilize it.
a lot less input but some folks don't figure their input and that's why they scratch their heads at the end of the year well we're gonna get on out of here